Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain different types of number systems that we have in this topic. First one, total general we are having four types of number systems. Total we are having four types of number system. One is decimal number system. First one, decimal number system. Decimal number system. And the second one is binary number system. Second one is binary number system. Third one, octal number system. Third one, octal number system. And the fourth one is hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal number system. Sir. So, these are the four different types of number systems that we have uh, in this topic. First, uh, in decimal number system, we will be having total 10 digits. We will be having total 10 digits. Those 10 digits are 0 to 9. Those 10 digits are 0 to 9. And next, coming to binary number system. In binary number system, we will be having only 2 digits. Those are zeros and 1s. Those are zeros and 1s. Coming to octal number system. Octal means it is 8. Total will be having 8 digits. Those are from 0 to 7. We should not use the digit uh, beyond 7. Okay. Whereas uh, in hexadecimal number system, we will be having total 16 digits. Out of those 16 digits, uh, from 0 to 9, these are 10 digits. After that, after 9, the letters A to F, A to F, total 6, uh, total 16. Uh, 10 plus 6, 16. 0 to 9 are digits. After that, we can represent all these values with uh, letters A to F, that is uh, 6. Uh, why? Because uh, if you represent uh, A is equal to, A is represented with 10. B is represented with 11. C is equal to 12. D is equal to 13. E is equal to 14. And uh, F is equal to 15. Why? Because... Uh, if you represent A as a 10, so we can treat this value as 1 and 0. We should not take this one as 10. Okay, That is the main reason we can represent uh, from 2 digit onwards, we can represent with uh, letters. So, hexadecimal number system means it consisting of total 16 numbers that is from 0 to 9. After that, A to F, total 16 numbers. Okay, Now, how can we identify that whether the given number is, uh, whether it is decimal number or binary number or octal number or else hexadecimal number. Suppose for example, if I gave you the number 101, 101, 101, whether you can treat this number as decimal number or else binary number or else octal number or else hexadecimal number. It might be any of the number system. Why? Because uh, you are having the digits uh, zeros and ones in all four types of number system. So, the main reason to identification. Identification is uh, because of this reason. Here, these two digits, zeros and ones will be there in all four types of number systems. Uh, so, in order to avoid that confusion, here the identification is very important. Uh, Identification of binary number, first one is decimal number. Identification of decimal number is base 10. 101 base 10 which indicates uh, decimal number. Base 10 indicates uh, decimal number. 101 base 2 which indicates binary number. Which indicates binary number. Similarly, if you want to represent any octal number, the base value must be 8. Base value must be 8. If the base is 8, that represents octal number. Suppose if the base is 16, then it represents a hexadecimal number. It represents what? Hexadecimal number. This is a way of representing the given number with the base values. If the base value is 10, that is decimal. Base value is 2 binary. Base value is 8 octal. Base value is 16 hexadecimal. In this way, we can identify whether the given number is a decimal number or binary number or octal number or else a 
hexadecimal number. This is one important point. Okay. Next. Now, the next point which I will explain in this session is uh, how to write every octal number in terms of binary as well as every hexadecimal number in terms of binary. Octal numbers in terms of binary. How to write octal numbers in terms of binary? Here, octal numbers. Octal numbers in the sense, those are 0 to 7. The, those are 0 to 7. First, I will write all the octal digits here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the 8 octal digits that we have. Okay. Now, if I want to write each and every octal digits in terms of binary, if I want to represent each and every octal number in terms of binary, I can represent each and every octal number in terms of binary as 3 3 digits. 3 3 digits that is 000, 001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 011, 100101110 and triple one i will tell you how i am dividing all the numbers uh, into three categories right here i will explain suppose uh, the place values are starts with 2 power 0 while going from right side to left side the power values will increases here the base is 2 why the base is 2 because uh, I want to write the given number in terms of binary. If I want to write in terms of binary, the base must be 2 and the power value must be starts with 0 while going from right side to left side. It will goes on increasing. As I am writing only 3 digits, that is the reason I have taken only up to 2 power 2. So, 2 power 2 is equal to 4. This is 2 and this is 1. Right? Now, according to 4 to 1 code method, now if I want 0, I don't want any of the numbers should be enabled, right? All values must be disabled. If I want 1, only this number should be enabled and remaining 2 values uh, disabled. If I want 5, 5 is nothing but it is a combination of 4 and 1. So, I have to take uh, 5 as 4 is enabled, 1 is enabled. 2 is disabled. Suppose if I want 7, I have to take all the numbers. Why? Because 4 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 7. So, all numbers should be enabled. This is the way of writing each and every octal, each and every octal digit in terms of a binary. These are binary numbers and these are octal numbers. Octal numbers in terms of binary. Remember, we can represent each and every octal number in terms of binary as 3 3 digits only. Okay. Now, in the similar fashion, I will explain how to write uh, hexadecimal numbers in terms of binary. Hexadecimal numbers in terms of binary. Okay. Here the hexadecimal numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, after that 8, 9, after 9 from 10 onwards I have to take this value as A, 10 is equal to A, 11 is equal to B, 12 is equal to C, 13 is equal to D, 14 is equal to E and 15 is equal to F. How can we write all the given uh, decimal, uh, given hexadecimal numbers in terms of uh, binary? I will explain one by one. Here, I have to use the same pattern which I have explained for octal. Here, as I am writing four digits for hex, uh, binary number, every hexadecimal number in terms of binary as uh, four four digits. Every hexadecimal number in terms of binary as 4, 4 digits. So, in order to write that one, I will start with 2 power 0. I will start with 2 power 0 and while going from right side to left side, the power values are increases. So, the code becomes 2 power 3 means 8, 2 power 2, 4, 2 power 1, 2, 
2 power 0 1. 8 4 2 1 code method. Now by using this you can write uh, each and every value. 0 means all values must be disabled. 1 0 0 0 1. Next 0 0 1 0. Next 0 0 1 1. 0 1 double 0. 0 1 0 1. 0 1 1 0. 0 triple 1. Followed by. Now the value starts with 1 and remaining values are 0. 1 0 0 1. Next 10 is equal to 1 0 1 0. 10 is nothing but the letter A. 11 is equal to B. So the value becomes 1 0 1 1. Next 1 1 double 0. And next 12 is equal to 8 plus 4. Right. So 1 1 double 0. And next 1 1 1 0 1. And next one, 1, 1, 1, 0. And 15 means you need to enable all the values. 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. Sum of all the values which is equal to 15. Now, this is a way of writing each and every. All these are hexadecimal numbers and uh, all these are binary numbers. Each and every hexadecimal number in terms of binary as a uh, Four, four digits. We need to write every hexadecimal number in terms of binary as four, four digits. Why? Because if you take only three digits uh, here, there is no chance of getting all these uh, numbers from 8 to 15. Because of that reason, we need to uh, take up to four digits. Uh, okay. This is a way of uh, writing the hexadecimal numbers in uh, terms of uh, binary numbers. Uh, and in the next sessions, uh, we will discuss about uh, uh, conversion of number systems. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.